Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, we'll look at brand new technology in Photoshop CC 2018 that lets you upscale your images with amazing results. It goes by the name Preserve Details 2.0 and it's by far the most advanced upscaling method Photoshop has ever seen. We'll learn how to use it and we'll compare it with Photoshop's previous upscaling methods to see how much better Preserve Details 2.0 really is. To follow along, you'll need Photoshop CC and you'll want to make sure that you your copy is up to date. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open the image we want to enlarge. I'll use this image that I downloaded from Adobe Stock so we can see how good of a job Preserve Details 2.0 is able to do not just with fine detail like hair, but also with skin texture. Even though Preserve Details 2.0 is included with Photoshop CC 2018, it's not officially part of Photoshop just yet. Adobe considers it a technology preview, and to use it, we first need to make sure it's enabled. We do that in the Photoshop Preferences. On a Windows PC, go up to the Edit menu in the menu bar. On a Mac, you'll want to go up to the Photoshop CC menu. From here, choose Preferences, and then choose Technology Previews. In the Preferences dialog box, make sure Enable Preserve Details 2.0 Upscale is turned on. Then click OK to close the dialog box. Next, open the Image Size dialog box by going up to the Image menu and choosing Image Size. To see more of your image in the preview window, click and drag the bottom right corner of the dialog box to make it larger. In the Resizing options on the right, make sure Resample is selected. This tells Photoshop that we want to change the physical dimensions of the image. In other words, we want to add or remove pixels. Then enter a new size for the image into the Width and Height boxes. By default, Width and Height are linked together, so changing one will automatically change the other. Since our goal here is to put Preserve Details 2.0 to the test, let's push things beyond what we normally would by setting both the width and height to 400%. By default, the resampling method, or the algorithm that Photoshop will use to add or remove pixels, is set to automatic. This means that Photoshop will automatically choose the best method for the job, or at least that's the idea. The problem is, even though we've enabled Preserve Details 2.0 in the preferences, Photoshop still won't choose it when the method is set to automatic. Instead, it will use the original Preserve Details. Now, this will most likely change once Preserve Details 2.0 is officially added to Photoshop. But for now at least, to use version 2.0, we need to select it ourselves. Click on the word Automatic to view the resampling options we can choose from. The three at the top are the ones we use for upscaling images. Select Preserve Details 2.0 from the list. As soon as you select it, the preview window on the left updates to show you what the upscaled version will look like using this new technology. You can click and drag your image around inside the preview window to inspect different areas. As we can already see, the upscaled version is looking really good. We have lots of sharp, fine detail in the woman's eye and in her eyelashes, as well as her eyebrows and in the strands of hair. But to get a better sense of just how much of an improvement Preserve Details 2.0 really is, let's compare it with Photoshop's previous upscaling methods. We'll start by setting the resampling method to Bicubic Smoother. Bicubic Smoother was the best upscaling method we had back in Photoshop CS6 and earlier, and we can see in the preview window that it does an okay job. But as we can guess from its name, Bicubic Smoother tries to avoid any problems by smoothing out the entire image. If we look again around the woman's eye and the hair, we see that those areas now look much softer and less detailed than they did before. So Bicubic Smoother really isn't that great. In Photoshop CC, Adobe introduced a new upscaling algorithm named Preserve Details. I'll select it from the list. Preserve Details does a much better job of keeping detail in the image. And again, looking at the same area, we see that everything looks much sharper. But where Bicubic Smoother made everything too soft, Preserve Details can do the opposite. The image now looks over-sharpened. Everything has a chunky look to it. 
not just around the eye, but also in her skin texture, which is something you never want to sharpen. So, while preserved details is better in some ways, it's still not great. The nice thing about the image size dialog box is that we can try out these different settings and compare the results before we commit to any changes. So now that we've looked at Photoshop's previous upscaling options, let's compare them to the new Preserve Details 2.0 in Photoshop CC 2018. Preserve Details 2.0 uses advanced artificial intelligence to maintain and preserve important details and textures. I'll select it from the list. And as soon as I do, the image in the preview window instantly looks a whole lot better. There's none of that softness from Bicubic Smoother or the chunkiness from the original preserved details. Instead, notice how sharp her eye and hair now look, almost to the point where you might think the image was actually shot at this higher resolution. We can see fine detail in her eyelashes and up in her eyebrows, and yet nothing looks over sharpened. And Preserve Details 2.0 also did a great job at preserving her skin texture. If you click and hold inside the preview window, you'll see what the image looks like without your resampling method applied. Release your mouse button to apply it and compare the results. If I do some quick before and afters here, we see how much sharper the hairs and eyelashes are becoming with Preserve Details 2.0 applied and we also see sharper edges around the iris and along her eyelids. And yet, when we look at her skin texture, here's before and after, again before and after, we see that her skin remains nice and smooth. So again, here's the best we could have done in Photoshop CS6 and earlier using Bicubic Smoother. And we can see how soft the image looks. Here is what an earlier version of Photoshop CC would give us with the original preserved details with everything over sharpened. And finally, here's what we're now able to achieve with Preserve Details 2.0 with fine details and the skin texture both looking great. To upscale your image, make sure Preserve Details 2.0 is selected and then click OK. And there we have it. That's how to get amazing results when upscaling your images using the new Preserve Details 2.0 in Photoshop CC 2018. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from PhotoshopEssentials.com.